in this question the initial angular speed of a motor wheel is given 1200 rpm it changes to finally 1800 rpm the time interval is 20 seconds rpm is not standard unit you need to convert rpm into radian per second one rpm is 2 pi by 60 radian per second first question is asking to calculate the angular acceleration and second part how many rotations are made in these 20 seconds So omega 1 is 1200 rpm, converting 1200 into 2 pi by 60. After the cancellation, 260, 120, 40 pi radian per second. Omega 2 is 1800 rpm, same way, 1800 into 2 pi by 60, 360 is 180, so 60 pi radian per second. Now you can directly calculate the angular acceleration using the formula omega 2 minus omega 1 by delta t. The time interval is already given 20 seconds. So 60 pi omega 2, 40 pi omega 1 by 20. It will be 20 pi by 20 pi radian per second squared. That's the first part answer, angular acceleration. Now, second question, they are asking the number of rotations made. So, one rotation is 2 pi, two rotation is 4 pi. So, if there are n rotations, we n into 2 pi. So, if you know the total angle, dividing the total angle by 2 pi will give you the number of rotations. So for finding the total angle rotated, like total displacement in linear motion, we have a relation in rotational motion. Omega 2 square minus omega 1 square is equal to 2 alpha theta. This is similar to V2 square minus V1 square equal to 2 AS. Or V square minus U square equal to 2 AS. That's for linear motion. V2 square minus V1 square equal to 2 AS. Here omega 2 square minus omega 1 square equal to 2 Linear acceleration is angular acceleration. Linear displacement is angular displacement. Linear velocities are correspondingly angular velocities. You can substitute omega 2 is 60 pi. Omega 1 is 40 pi. Alpha is pi. You can get theta from that. So 60 pi square minus 40 pi square equal to 2 pi theta. Using a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. 60 pi square minus 40 pi square will be 60 plus 40 pi, 100 pi into 60 pi minus 20 pi, 40 pi will be 20 pi. That's equal to 2 pi theta. Cancellations will give you theta as 1000 pi. As I told you, one rotation make 2 pi. So n rotations totally make an angle theta equal to n times of 2 pi. If you want to find n, you can find the total angle by 2 pi. You already have the total angle as uh, 1000 pi by 2 pi. 1000 by 2 pi, pi pi will go, will be 500 rotations.